never forget it. Ken Price's daughter, Samantha, was injured in the Danforth shooting. A bullet went through her hip. The gunman, Faisal Hussein, shot her and 14 others with a stolen semi-automatic pistol. Two of the young girls who were shot died. Now Price is part of a lawsuit that aims to hold the gunmaker accountable. In a statement of claim filed in the Ontario Superior Court, six plaintiffs allege Smith and Wesson was negligent because the company failed to incorporate smart gun technology. It could have prevented this. Smart guns are designed to limit who can operate them. Germany's Armatix created a system that requires the user to wear a special transmitting watch. If not, the gun won't fire. Boston-based BioFire's design requires the owner's fingerprint. According to the proposed lawsuit, Smith & Wesson agreed to incorporate smart technology in the early 2000s, but didn't follow through. Acknowledging that a number of firearms were being stolen and that action should be taken, but then was not taken. Oh, that's this thing here? Yeah. Okay. But some gun owners aren't convinced smart guns are the solution. It's certainly not a technology that's in widespread use in Canada. This is how typically how Canadians store restricted firearms like handguns. This gun rights advocate says laws in Canada that require gun owners to store firearms safely already prevent legal guns from getting into the wrong hands. In the U.S., gun manufacturers are shielded from these types of lawsuits. That's not the case in Canada. Here, the bar is lower, but we, we still don't like to hold gun manufacturers responsible in that way, but we should. The Danforth plaintiffs are seeking $150 million in damages. If they can hurt them on the bottom line and collect a large settlement, uh, it may actually force change in how gun manufacturers go about their business. I mean, there's and that's the what Price and the other plaintiffs are hoping for. Jacqueline Hansen, CBC News, Toronto.